Hi everyone and welcome to Forever Friends, the City of Glendale's pet adoption show. I'm Kevin McManus from the Pasadena and the Humane Society. To my right, the lovely and talented Dottie Sharkey from Glendale's Call Parks me, and you Oaks. call me talented. You're the Facebook oh, favorite on Pasadena Humane. I mean, he's got a fan club. So anyway, but thank you for saying that. And don't you don't you love our new Isn't opening? Isn't it really cool? Yeah. I so love yeah, it. don't be confused if you're fans of the doghouse. Uh, this is taking the place of the doghouse. Slightly do uh, well, obviously beautiful new opening and a new name, but we're still here with the same purpose exactly. to show you adoptable pets that are here at the Pasadena Humane Society. Uh, and we do have many uh, wonderful animals waiting to go f to their forever homes. Uh, today we're going to focus on just a few of them. Uh, before we get to today's animals, let's have an update from the last show, which was, as it turns out, the last episode of The Dog House. Okay, Lily hasn't been adopted yet. Yeah, but Lily Augustine was. Augustine well, was a big good. favorite. Lily, I'm sure, will be next. She wasn't was... Lily, though, or was it Augustine, the goofiest Oh, Augustine dog. was the big Augustine. goofball. Augustine. Lily's Augustine. wonderful, though. Yeah. So she's oh, and Cherry, both, yeah. um, and of course, Bunny Foo, who we'll yeah. see the doppelganger of in just a second. So, so. But that's all right. Well, speaking of wonderful, <laughs> who is this? This, this is Ginger. Is Ginger. Thanks, Karen. Ginger Ooh. is. Okay, yeah, yeah all white with beautiful little pink eyes. Daddy, I don't know oh, why you so wouldn't want to hold this beautiful white bunny. You know what? I always hold the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the one day I wear black, I thought, you know Buddy. what? I don't think so today. So Kevin, Kevin. Uh, Taking one for the team. He, it's so sad. <laughs> he has to hold the I bunny. I know, I know. It's I'm devastated. So, Can you tell? So um, just, just very sweet bunny. I love Hi. that. I love that. And enjoys attention. <laughs> That's one of my cats enjoys attention constantly. So, um, and he'll oh he runs in front of the kennel to greet people. That's right. So he's a very very well socialized rabbit. Um, yeah, obviously has um, has spent a lot of time with people, and he knows that people are fun. So whenever someone comes over, he you know hops right to the front of the kennel and hangs out with them, which is really sweet. He's and he obviously runs around his easy to too, huh? Oh yeah. He's, he's it's. And his adoption fee is only $30. That's right. Look at your little nose. Look at the little nose going. Buddy. And you know, when, when we have bunnies on the show, we don't get to see them hop. They're so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, you know, Maybe I didn't give Ginger's number. Um, Ginger's number, if you've just already fallen in love, uh, A400487 and only seven months old. Yeah, he's a, a, a young sure one. You. So about full grown, full size. He's not yeah. going to be much, much bigger, um, but yeah, as really soon as sweet you guy. Said full grown, the ears yeah. went up straight. Like, look, look how grown up dog. I am. Oh, you are a grown up. <laughs> I have the tallest ears. So let me give you Ginger's number again, and it's a four zero zero four eight seven. All right. Well, Ginger was something else, and let's uh, let's go right to our first cat. And this is the lovely Lila. Lila's ID number is A400374. She is a one-year-old female, a beautiful calico. She's beautiful. And a beautiful personality as well. She's just Look super affectionate. I uh, can tell. Enjoys petting. Uh, once you do start petting her, she starts purring away. Well, um, until there's lights everywhere. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and people and cameras, but oh, it's like, what's all It's this? all right, Lila. It's okay. Look, you're beautiful. You're Pretty beautiful. Girl. Um, Lila's adoption fee is $70, that of course will cover her uh, spay, microchip, vaccines, etc. Um, and, and how old um, is she? She is only a year old, so oh, this is a nice age. coming out of kittenhood. Yeah, this is a, a great... Are calicos, are they the ones that are predominantly or... Yes, calicos uh, and yeah. tortoiseshell cats, yeah. um, unless there's a very rare yeah. crab, a chromosomal abnormality, mm -hmm. um, they're always female. So, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Her coat is just beautiful. I know, really cute oh. and you know, short hair, but really soft. So. Yeah, she's very soft. Um, so, very the, you sweet. know, obviously a one year old cat, still very, very active, um, so needs lots of playtime. Um, 
but you know she's definitely I think also content to just sit and hang out yeah. um, once playtime's over mm -hmm. of course and they'll find things themselves I mean it's wonderful to pay, play with your pets and it's it's just such a joy to see them so yeah, happy. My but, cat uh, uh, has discovered the joy of ping pong balls, <laughs> usually around 3 a.m. I know. It's, it's adorable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean yes. that in about Twiggy, I know you're watching. I love you. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> Uncondition <laughs> Unconditional love, isn't it? I don't know. know amazing, it. So. And cats are, the cats are so easy. I mean, they, you know, they'll use the litter box mm -hmm. and they... They're just um, clean themselves, isn't mm -hmm. that? It's just. And yeah, can make a, uh, a cardboard box into the best play thing Exactly, ever. exactly. <laughs> All right, well, Lila, uh, her ID number again is A400374. Okay, are you guys ready for this? It is Pokemon Go, gotta adopt them all. I am so excited about this promotion. If you are on the hunt for a Pikachu or an elusive Mew, uh, adopt them all during the Kit and Go Adoption Weekend at the Pasadena Humane Society and SPCA. Uh, here are the details. It is this weekend, the uh, 5th, 6th, and 7th of August during regular adoption hours. What it is, is we are lowering the adoption fee for all available kittens to just 15 bucks or two for 25. So normal adoption fee is, is much, much higher. Uh, so this is a great deal and a great way to get a kitten. Um, all the kittens will be named after Pokemon, and each kitten will have its own trading card. Uh, a kitten dex will, hand, will hang excuse me, in the Neely Cat Center as a guide to all adoptable kittens. If you are uh, willing to share a photo of a kitten trading card with the hashtag PHSKittenGo, you will get a free toy in our shelter shop. And remember, as always, regular adoption screening applies. So this is going to be a super fun weekend. Um, even if you're not in the market for a kitten, come on out and check us out, and you know you can find those those Pokemon. Look forward to seeing you here. Kevin, how fun! That was great. I, know, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, definitely. So, um, well, so. we're, we're gonna bring out another kitten who actually will be uh, available for this promotion if she's not adopted beforehand. This is Happiny. Um, Happiny's ID Hi, number sweetie. is A four zero two two zero nine. She is an eleven month old female. Uh, a tortie, so again, like a calico prior. Right. Uh, so. Super affectionate, um, as you can see already. <laughs> she, oh, look at your little paw coming out. We'll do those little head bumps. Oh, oh pet me. Oh, sorry. Oh. Where would you like to be petted, huh? <laughs> We're communicating. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Love. So the torties are from the tortoise shell because they yes. have the. Yeah. Yep. And this is the. Uh, you don't see much white, or do you no, see any I mean, at all? No, that's the big it's, difference it's between mostly colors. The yeah, the, the calicos and... tend to be the white. Yeah. And the torties are um, Look just at the you. Oh, you're orange. just going to, you just want to oh, play. Squirmer. And, uh, well, you know. this is typical for an 11-month-old. She um, occasionally will sit in your lap. Um, she does head bump for affection or for attention. Um, very curious, like she most pushed, kittens. She pushed my hand <laughs> away. <laughs> she wants to get out and check this yeah. place out. But it's like, enough. Enough. Let's play. And she's trying to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. And she's purring away. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah. So she's happy. You're happy now. She's happy. So. Hi. Oh, look at that. Is oh. that too cute? She has the. <laughs> I love it when cats do. That. I know. So I she's know. one of those ones that when you go to the kennel, she's like, "Hey, oh. pay attention to me." Oh, so me. be careful. <laughs> so um, Happiness ID number again is A four zero two two zero nine. She's an eleven month old yes, tortie. So come shake hands. <laughs> All right, well, let's bring out another pokey cat. Oh, a pokey cat. I don't cat. know if that's a... Uh, this is Charmander. Um, Look at Charmander. you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ID number A401089. Adorable. Four-month-old uh, male kitten. I He's, don't get to hold too many kittens. <laughs> I know. I know you love it. So uh, He is a black short hair kitten, outgoing, very friendly. Uh, oh, look, same little paw thing. You know, like that. <laughs> We're training them all to do that. Is that? You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So watch so, out yeah. when you come you in here. walk in and the first get, one grabs yeah, you. Yeah, well, there you go. You know? uh, well. So he's uh, curious and playful, yet uh, totally socialized, easy to pick up, and so uh, loves sweet. being held. He'll start purring away. He already is. Mm -hmm. He already is. And like, he's got kind of like a really thin, like tiger stripes on his legs there. Oh, yes. Very nice. Um, so his adoption fee... Today and until this weekend is $70, but this weekend, uh, the 5th, 
5th, 6th, and 7th. It would be only $15 as part of the Kit and Go promotion. So This is just too cute. I know. I love <laughs> Three it. kittens in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I love cats, but I usually don't. I don't usually get to hold the kittens. Well, one of my um, mm -hmm. favorite ways to de-stress one here at work is to go sit in the communal yeah. kitten room and just—it's mm -hmm. great. Yes, one of our cats. When my husband was going through some some pain, he said, "Where's my therapy cat?" <laughs> <laughs> well, it is great. I mean, they, or comfort cats cat, are, or it's boost your endorphins. Oh, it's they do. A proven fact. They do. They really do. So. <laughs> if it isn't, it ought to be. Even even at three in the morning. <laughs> You can't be too upset no. about that, though. No. It's so cute. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Well, we're getting Charmander carried is... away, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this little guy's ID number, Charmander, is four zero one zero eight nine, and a four-month-old neuter kitten. Okay. Are we ready for our next dog? I who think has? So. Um, I hope so. This is Sadie. Oh, um, she's great. And Come Reed's here, getting her in hi. here. And Sadie, Sadie had to say hi to everyone in the room before, <laughs> before her. Come here, love her um, few minutes of fame and um, you know and she just needs a little more enthusiasm I think oh, just, well, just, just a, a, just a pinch uh, tan <laughs> pit bull mix uh, two years old so you're still you're still puppy oh yeah probably thinks she's a lap dog if you want energy and playfulness in your home <laughs> this, <laughs> this no is further. it and Hi, she's um, she was out on the the mobile unit and she's friendly with people and kids I don't think we even have to say that, do we? <laughs> um, and and goofy. <laughs> Aww. Uh, so she's um, she's she's actually good with probably other another large dog. Oh she, yeah, she'd yeah. Be, definitely um, be good to have yeah. somebody to romp around with, burn off a little and, bit of her excess you know, energy. Um, she'll mellow with some exercise. She's for just sure. high energy. Probably thinks she's going for a walk. And her adoption fee is one hundred and twenty-five dollars. What exactly? So That's... that will cover her spay, microchip, rabies shots, <laughs> uh, vaccines. I think you found the magic scratch. Oh. <laughs> scratch. There spot. we go. There you go. So I, um, I don't know if you, like, I love the uh, the harnesses that we use here, and you probably see them on the show all the time. These easy walk harnesses make even a big like dog who's you know really active uh -huh. really easy. Pretty easy to walk, so it makes more sense, I think. Oh, to, for sure. To be yeah. harnessed and uh, and you know, when I drive up here in the morning, I see the volunteers walking, walking the dogs. The dogs. It's, mm -hmm. it's it's um, I I just have to give a shout out to all those volunteers all here. All volunteers are fantastic. Do the amazing things yeah. for these. Um, they're just treated so well. The volunteers, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, they treat the animals really exactly. well. Exactly. So. That's what I. So anyway, I don't think I gave Sadie's number. It's a, oh, Patrick's, gonna, sorry, Patrick. Patrick's <laughs> our editor, and he really likes, if I remember, to do the numbers. So well, we a like three, nine, eight, six, three, five. We, yes, exactly. Good girl. Especially if you're coming in to adopt Sadie. So I'll give it one more time. She is just wonderful. She's um, high energy, great for exercise. And uh, uh, this, is, this is the kind of dog I need <laughs> for exercise. So Sadie's number is. She thinks she's a, she thinks she's just a month old, doesn't she? <laughs> she's a young too. I know she sure is. So a three nine eight six three five, and Sadie makes us smile. <laughs> okay, we have another education segment uh, put together by our amazing producer Jamie, and this is living with coyotes. Coyotes are very well adapted to living in cities, especially Glendale and may be active at any time of day. So here are some tips to help you more peacefully coexist with coyotes. Coyotes venture out in search of food. By removing any potential food sources from your home, you can prevent uh, repeat coyote visits. And keep your cats indoors and supervise small dogs outside. It used to be that we could say, you know, keep your animals in in the mornings and in the evenings allowed to go out. We saw a coyote in our yard at noon, so uh, if you do have cats, please keep them indoors. And don't leave pet food outside. That would attract them. Secure your garbage and pick up fruit when it falls on the ground. Trim overgrown landscaping. And if you see a coyote, make yourself appear large and back away slowly. Never turn your back or run away. 
And for more tips on coexisting with the local wildlife in your area, visit PasadenaHumane.org slash wildlife. And one more thing, uh, I had a coyote running towards me when it was chasing a dog, and I just reacted. I screamed. I just screamed, and he just took off. So, so even, you know. <laughs> Make yourself big. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I sure did. So anyway, those are your tips for coyotes. Okay, here comes Ray with Ganta. And Ganta's number is A399279. One year old, neutered male. Oh, oh boy, kind of a little shy here compared to our last dog. So, and this is a, a lab mix. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. lab and pit bull. Boy, Possibly. That's, that's the best, Hi, isn't it? Buddy. You know, labs are friendly and lovable, and pit bulls love to please their owners. Oh, and, yeah. Um, so, but she's just a quiet, yeah. soft, sweet. He's, yeah, he's definitely on the shy a, side. A little, yeah, bit, definitely. a little bit nervous. Um, yeah. And but that's our, okay. Kevin, here you go. He thinks he's a lap dog. I know. I'm not going to uh, force the issue right no, now. But no, no. He, uh, yeah, he but, has been seen multiple times in his kennel uh, curled up on top of one of our volunteers, <laughs> so just enjoying the attention. Oh. And, um, you know, a, something that might you might mm -hmm. want to consider for a dog like this if he has... Uh, another large dog who's a little right. bit more confident might help him come out of his shell, which is, yeah. you know, he's. he's you know, when good when so I far. was when I was a little girl and we were p the first kitten we ever and I was drawn to the one that was shy and away from the mm -hmm. others. So, you know, you, you you love the happy ones too, but there's something about when they're shy, you just want to pull them out of it and oh, say yeah. it's okay, yeah. it's okay. You know, I'm sure you know mm -hmm. a couple of weeks in yeah. his forever home, he'll be uh, oh, you know much more confident yeah. and especially if you thing, have toys and tennis balls. Toys, tennis balls, and uh, a training training classes training. really helps um, or will really help a shy dog kind of boost their confidence. Uh -huh. He could he would definitely benefit from that. Yeah, well, he might have a little history to mm. tell us about if he could. Good so. Boy. But uh, and his adoption fee is 125. He is just so sweet. Yeah, I just I know. you know you're just drawn to him, aren't you? No, he, like the doppelganger who was on just a minute ago. Like <laughs> she it's just like the energy level yes, of her yes. compared to Gonza here. He's he's pretty relaxed. Yeah, def <laughs> definitely. Good well, boy. if you'd like a little relaxed dog and yeah. somebody just to <laughs> curl up in your curl lap. on your <laughs> curl up on your lap and. Uh, so let me, oops, his number's on this page. Um, oops, 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 oops. Where am I? There I am. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the number is A399279. Okay, here comes Minnie. Come here, love. Appropriately Hi. named. <laughs> and the, her number is A399474, five-year-old, very curious old spade <laughs> female. Fine, and she's huh? a min pin or... Hi. or very cute. so tiny. They aren't they sometimes called like toys. Oh yeah, just, I mean she's yeah, definitely in the, you know in the toy yeah the family, toy like Chihuahuas toy family and kind of Chihuahuas. And she's friendly and outgoing and I think historically these dogs have been around a long time because I, I they're in paintings you know. Oh sure. Yeah. You know, so look at you look look Aww. your nose up in the air. Yes, I I Super really am. I, I really go way back. So and they're they keep they. Well groomed, easy, easy to groom. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Brush. And oh, she bounces when she's excited. Uh, well, you can kind of. <laughs> <laughs> just before we started, she was hopping along and running around, meeting everybody. So oh, yeah. very We've had social. Two really social dogs. Yeah. This is a beautiful dog. I mean, just beautiful. You're a good um, girl. And she'll sit for treats, Kevin. Of course. Really, but we don't need to demonstrate. Well, I didn't bring you. <laughs> because treats. you never have treats. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but she's she'll also relax and sit on on your lap, and she's only 120. You just want to you just want to say hi, don't you? Now, of course, she's also eligible for our one of our favorite programs, the senior oh, for senior, senior program. For senior. So, if an adopter is over the age of 60, her adoption fee would be reduced to just 20 dollars. Hi, she is just she's hi. adorable. But remember Sabrina, who used to be of uh, course, one of our yeah. camera people. She mm -hmm. always wanted a min pin. I'm not sure they're. 
Sabrina's in Chicago now. I think min pins do better in the warmer <laughs> climate. <laughs> well, she just need a but, jacket for but, you know, yeah, four or five months. Yeah, you'd have to have here. a little sweater <laughs> in some Chicago. Little boots. Yes. <laughs> but uh, no, she's 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 just wonderful. Uh, okay, so Minnie, I'll give your number again, and it's a three nine nine. Four seven four, and again, she'd be available if you're 60 years of age or older, with only twenty dollars for the microchip. Otherwise, she's 125. So that's it's our last. Is this our last? The last animal for animal today. On yes. On the show today. Yeah, I know we could keep going. But, I know. You know. Time limits. Well. Well, this was. If we I can't think a keep going. Uh, yeah. First episode of, of Forever. Forever. Friends. Yeah, we did great. <laughs> I love it. And you'll have to make sure if you if you missed our opening, you have to see our new opening because we're on. I think about eleven times on GTV Six. Look how sweet you are. So if you haven't seen an animal, you want to just go over the the. Um, the Go. Oh, of course, the Pokemon kitten Go, Go. The kitten Go event it. is this weekend, the 5th, 6th, and 7th. Um, all kittens' mm -hmm. adoption fee is way, way, way reduced. And uh, of course, we have <laughs> trading cards, all, all things fun and, you know, yeah. getting yeah. involved with it's, the Pokemon. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just fun. And look at this. We have a, a little, a little dancing up. dog, a little <laughs> dancing dog. So if you haven't seen an animal here today, um, there's lots of ways you can Bye certainly me. look on our website. Let me give you our phone number just in case, 626-792-7151. Uh, We're all over social media, uh, Facebook. Uh, our website is PasadenaHumane.org. Uh, but the very best way is we'd love to see you here. We're at 361 South Raymond Avenue in Pasadena. From Glendale, you take the 210 freeway, get off at the Del Mar exit, left on Del Mar right onto Raymond, our parking structure's right there. Mm -hmm. Plenty of parking, and we'd love, love, love to see you here. So anyway, Absolutely. that's... Well, and let's uh, also take a, a second to thank the GTV6 staff. Oh, um, yeah. And of, our, of course, our uh, staff here at the shelter who contribute mm -hmm. to the show, um, and also our, our amazing volunteer corps, many of whom you got to see briefly yes. today. Um, so they're awesome, and we love them. So. Yeah, but most of all, but most of all, thank you. We thank you for helping us help the animals. And we'll see you next time. Bye.